Hey guys, it's Ashley with 3R Sales and Service. Today we're taking a look at the Oriole Skid Assembly. So this one is very similar to our Condor Assembly, um, except this one gives you the capability to connect to a much larger water tank. Um, so on the Condor, it has a 55 gallon water tank. On this one, the water tank is not attached. It's something that gets added um, behind the skid or wherever you need to mount it onto your system. So we'll go ahead and go through everything and uh, give you an idea of how this whole system works. So the pressure washer that we have on here is a 3000 PSI, 5.5 gallon per minute, um, cold water pressure washer. It has a belt driven pump and a Honda engine, it's a GX390. This particular unit is electric start, which is key start. Um, so you can just reach in right through here to start that system up. The battery for it is right behind it. Up front, we've got two of the Titan aluminum hose reels. Uh, it's aluminum framed, but it's stainless steel manifolds that go through them. So if you're using corrosive uh, soaps through your downstream injector, um, this is going to hold up for a much longer period of time against those type of corrosive detergents. We have 100 feet of the 3 8 pressure washer hose on top. And on the bottom, we've got 100 feet of 3 quarter inch Flexzilla garden hose and we've got our connections right on the front of the reels to hold everything in place so that whenever you're driving down the road, if this is on an open application, you don't have to worry about your hoses getting loose. Um, and if it's an enclosed application, it just looks nice. Um, so just another way to kind of keep your system looking presentable whenever you're at a customer's facility. On the side, you can see there's locking pins for both hose reels. And then we've got our downstream soap injector here for this system. Uh, the soap injector, the way that it works, at least on here, they've got it kind of all zip tied in place so I'm not able to move it too freely. Uh, but we've got an adjustable injector. The injector will pull up to a 20% draw um, and it's just adjustable just by turning it. So when I turn it um, the opposite direction, it'll go ahead and actually completely shut off the soap draw. Hang on a second, we got a truck going by right now. <laughs> I've said it before in other videos, we can't just stop everything that's going on in order to get things moving. Bottle, right? Hi, yeah. <laughs> Gary's just right inside. <laughs> okay, so back to the soap injector. 20% um, maximum draw all the way down to zero if you want to completely turn off your soap draw. This right here gives you the capability to either pull from the 16 gallon soap tank that's attached to the skid or pull from a totally separate drop down tube. So you can take this, you can drop it down into whatever five gallon bucket you have on hand, any type of specialty detergent, um, just to make it easier to switch between soaps so you don't have to pull anything out of your tanks or switch the soaps that are actually in your tanks. Um, we'll go ahead and move around the side here. Um, so from the back of the system, you can get a better view of, uh, of the tanks we have here. So seven gallon tank is actually our winterizing tank. So um, we're in Ohio, it's actually freezing out here right now. Um, so this winterizing system makes it super easy to winterize your whole skid, including your garden hose and your inlet plumbing um, so that you don't have to worry about um, freezing, whether you're going in between jobs or making it a whole to do whenever you do need to winterize before you put it in storage. So much easier when there's an onboard tank. And again, our 16 gallon soap tank, you can see the drop down tube right into the tank on top. Uh, the plumbing on the back here is where we're going to connect to the external water tank. So this particular customer is getting a 325 gallon water tank that we're connecting to. You can connect to whatever size you need, or if you've already got a tank on your system and you just need to add this to your existing system, it's a perfect way to tie into an existing water tank. Um, so there's a three-way ball valve that's right here, and that's how we pull from either our winterizing system or from our water tank. And then we've got a filter before it goes into the pressure washer. We always wanna make sure that the water is completely filtered before it goes to the unit. We don't want any sediment or uh, debris getting into getting into the pressure washer pump. Um, and the only other thing I really forgot to mention about the pressure washer system is we always put bleeder valves on this pump. Um, that allows any water, I'm sorry, any air that gets in between the water tank and the pump head 
allows it to bleed out through that valve so that you have a nice easy startup with your pressure washer system. And then you can't see the hose on here right now because we don't have the customer's tank here yet. We're actually doing this install uh, here in a couple weeks whenever the system is brought to us. Um, the cool bypass hose will also be connected to the water tank and the cool bypass hose just protects that pump whenever the customer has their pressure washer on but the trigger is not being pulled. It's just recirculating that water from the tank to the pressure washer. So other than that, like I said, similar to our Condor, just kind of a bigger version, a little more deluxe version of it. Um, so if you have any questions on this, feel free to take a look at our website. It'll be on 3rpressurewashers.com or you're more than welcome to give us a call and we can explain any, any questions that you may have.